We're going to look at how I've been using um, Ableton Live 10's drum bus to sort of tighten and clean up samples that are generally loops. In all honesty, usually I'm sampling stuff from um, YouTube. Sometimes you find that the tone isn't perfect. So using drum bus has been really great for sort of cleaning things up. So I've got this loop in here. Um, this isn't from YouTube. Just to save myself from um, copyright hell, I've used one of the Ableton stock loops, but it's really nice. So yeah. Um, but I might want to sort of give a little bit more emphasis to the snares and the claps that are in there and maybe a little bit less to the, the percussion and the room noise. I'm going to drag an instance of drum bus on there and just listen to what it sounds like by default. You can hear it does quite a bit to change the sound, it kind of brings the level up a bit um, and it, it you know, focuses more in on the mid-range. So even if we kind of you know, move, turn off all these parameters, it still changes the sound quite a bit. But that's alright. This tool isn't necessarily for subtlety. I mean, if you want to get it a bit more subtle, you can use this blend control, which allows you to like fade in a little bit of the dry signal. Kind of like look at the different processes in it. So the first thing that the signal hits is this um, compressor. So you activate it by turning this on. And because it's a fixed threshold compressor, you sort of like attenuate the, the signal going into it. So it'll be less pronounced if you have a lower signal going into it. So you can trim it here. I'm going to leave it up because I want it to be quite expressed and I'm going to, because it has quite a bit of makeup gain automatically applied, I might pull down the output just a touch. Um, and then it goes into this sort of drive segment here, which is um, three different types of distortion and saturation. Um, the first is a wave shaping style of distortion, which sounds like this. The second is more limiting style of distortion, so you can hear it sort of increasing that pumping sort of artifact that's already in there from this compression. And then the third is this, you can hear it, it's already a little bit brighter, it's got a bit more, full, full, more fullness in the low, low end. Um, this is a, a, like a clipping sort of circuit. Um, so I kind of like the way that sounds. Um, it's not destroying the transients as much as the medium, but I might pull it back up a tiny bit. Then it gets this crunch um, control. This is just an extra bit of like sine shaped distortion that's kind of, in this case, you can hear it sort of bringing up a lot of the high frequency and mid frequency information, a lot of that like presence and the clap. So I kind of like, I think you can very easily overdo it and make things harsh. Um, but I might pull it back. I think there sounds okay. And then you've got this damp control here, which is, that's really just to kind of like potentially take out some of the harshness and brightness that you've been inducing in these earlier processes. Um, so it's like a low pass filter. Um, so I can just open this up and I might leave it around there. It sounds kind of good. Um, so you can hear like if I AB this now though, I've kind of made a bit of a mess, right? Like all the transients have lost a bit of their energy, a lot of the room noise is coming up and it's just sounding a little bit kind of crushed and, and messy. Um, so that's where this amazing um, transients control comes in, which is a transient shaper. So I don't know if you don't know what a transient shaper is, it's kind of like a, it's like a, a simple compressor where you have control over like the energy that you impart to the, the attack part of the sound or the decay part of the sound. So if I'm playing it like this, I can turn the transients control in a positive direction and it makes it more sort of sustained. It sounds like over compressed signals. Um, so all the room noise is coming up and it's just getting more overwhelming. But if we pull it in a negative direction, we're imparting more of the energy to the, the transients, right? To the, the attack portion. And sort of turning down the room noise as well, which is kind of what I want. You can hear it's also turning down a lot of that um, shaker and hi-hat stuff, which I felt was a bit overwhelming at first anyway. So that sounded good. Um, and then finally, we've got this boom control, which is uh, essentially it's like a, a high resonance, high pass filter. So if we increase this, it's going to put in a high pass filter, but it's going to boost a particular frequency. That frequency is this here. We can tune that up and down. Um, and I guess it's, you know, it's important to tune this um, and make it sound good for the source, but also important to make it sound good with other stuff in your track. So I've got this bass loop here. Um, and then we can, you know, find a point at which it sounds good. You can also see when I'm moving the frequency, we also get this little um, icon down here telling us like 
what corresponding note we're at. So you could go there and then one other cool thing is, say we're here for example, I could click this and it would lock the frequency to that discrete you know, note. Um, so now we're at G. Um, so I might pull this off a bit, it's sounding a bit over the top. Um, and then also because you're doing all this compression, um, you know, your low end might be really sustained and overblown and unwieldy. So you can use this decay control, which is essentially like a transient shaper, but for the low frequencies. So I can have it like there. I don't know. I, I don't know if this sounds good or not, but we, I guess we should check. I'm going to just pull down the volume. So it's like a moderately similar level to what's going in. See if I've screwed this up entirely. It sounds very different. It's a little bit louder, but better. Cool. Okay, and then if you feel like you've gone too far, you've just overcooked it, you can always just blend in a little bit of the um, dry signal as well.